Now here we have to use the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 that is 6 digits and these are the two questions and the question number 9 says that how many 5 digit number can be formed without rep repetition which are divisible by 3. Fine. So here would, uh, what I can say is that first of all we have to understand like which, uh, what is the uh, process where the numbers are divisible by 3. We all know that the sum of the digit must be divisible by 3. Correct. So if I take all these six digit number together, say 1 plus 2, uh, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, then the sum would be, it would be 15, right? Now 15 is divisible by 3, so that's also a nice thing. So most of the student goes wrong here is that they feel that since the sum is 15, then the number of ways or all the numbers so found will be a uh, number which will be divisible by 5. So straight away they go by this way, that 6, 5, 4. 3 and 2. They multiply it and they get the answer as 600. I think, yeah, no, so it will be 758. Sorry, in this place they will be putting 5 because 0 can't appear at this place. So they come up with the answer as 600. But here we are, <clears throat> the one thing which we are doing it wrong here is that although we have been given 6 digits, but at a time we are using only 5 digits. So every number, in every number, one of the digits. Uh, uh, out of these six digits would be skipped. So, for example, one of the numbers in this 600 would be a number, say, uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 0. Correct? So, if you can see that if you add them, the addition of the sum of the digit would be 11, and that is not divisible by 3. So, here the thing we have to understand is that although the number of digits is 6, but at a time, we have to take only 5 digits. So, if I if I skip digit 4, then the rest of the numbers, uh, rest of the digit, the sum will no more be a multiple of 3. I hope this particular logic is clear. So, let's come down to the right way of doing the uh, solving the question. So, here what we have to do is that we have to make the cases. As you can see that the sum is 15 here. So, every time one digit will be skipped. So, can I skip 0? Yes. If I skip 0 and using the digit 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 only, again the sum will be 15. So all these numbers using all these 5 digits will always be a multiple of 3 and which is very simple to say that the numbers will be 120. Now the next thing is that can I skip 1? The answer is no because if I take out 1 then the sum will be 14 and hence no arrangement will give me the sum uh, equal to multiple of 3. Same with goes with 2. So we have, uh, but for 3 definitely it will work. In fact, out of the multiple of 3, we have to take out multiple of 3 so that the balance would remain a multiple of 3, right? And with the same logic, I can say that 4 and 5 should also be excluded. So the case are to either this case, first case, or the second case is that all the numbers are formed by using this digits. So we have to make a 5 digit number, 0 cannot appear at this place. So we have 4 options. Again, this place 4 options, 3, 2 and 1. And there respectively, we have to make the product of it. So I think it will be 6, it will be 96. So the total number of numbers will be sum of 96 plus 120 or 120 plus 96. So I think it will be how much? 216. So 216 is the answer for this question. Now let's come to the last question. Now it says that we have to find 5 digit number without repetition divisible by 4. We all know that the last 2 digit uh, decides that whether the entire number is divisible by 4 or not. So let me make the cases that if this is the 5 digit number, which 2 pairs of the number we have to keep here so that the entire number is divisible by 4. So if I start with 0, now please understand this approach, right? Because if you randomly select those 2 numbers, it is uh, you might skip some of the uh, some of the pairs. So let us start with 0. Can 0, 1 be put at this place? No. We have to start with 0, 2, no, 0, 3, 0, 4, yes. If I can put 0, 4 here, then definitely the entire number will be divisible by 4. So 0, 4 is one pair. Now again start with uh, definitely 5, 0, 5 will be not. If I start with 1, can it be 1, 0? No. 1, 2, yes. 1, 3, no, 1, 4, no, 1, 5, no. So everything gone. Start with 2. So it will be 2, 0 or 2, 4. And if I start with 3, then it will be 3, 2. If I start with 4, it will be 4, 0. And if I start with 5, then it will be 5, 2. So these are the cases. So by doing so, what I have managed is that I have not left any pair uh, 
in fact i have ensured that i have uh, uh, do not leave any of the pairs right so i have started with every digit and i have ended with every digit correct again we have to solve with the previous experience the zero wala case differently and non zero wala case differently so let us uh, first of all solve the zero case so these are the five digits so last two digits combinedly i make a one task so here the number 04 or 20 or 40 can 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 appear every time compulsorily digit 0 has been managed or will be at the last or the second last two digit uh, second last digit so this thing can be done in three ways and every time two digit compulsorily zero has been used so out of six two we have managed here so for this we are left with four and again three and again two for these places so in total we'll have 72 ways uh, i think it is yes 72 for the next case of non zero again combining these two here we have the options of either 12 24 32 or 52 so four ways and zero should not come here so two digit will be used at this place zero can't come here so out of six we are left with only three digits now again zero can come here but we have used three digit two at this place and one at this place so again the options here is three and for this the option is two so the product again will be 72 so the sum of these two that is 72 plus 72 that is 144 would be my answer so student by these by the help of these 10 examples what i have ensured is that you should uh, uh you should be ready to manipulate right you have to follow this uh, follow the basic approach but you should be good enough in making the cases and the manipulation of it with few more practice of decent or uh, 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 level of question you will be very much comfortable in taking uh, Questions which appear in the competitive exams, right?